Hello everyone, this is Lieutenant Colonel Evangelista. This video is going to give a presentation of one of the first steps in text mining, which is creating a, a vector representation of sentences or uh, a document. And this is commonly called uh, a bag of words. And we're going to obviously focus on how we can implement this in VBA. Before starting uh, to get right into VBA, we, we need to understand a couple of the data structures that will be used uh, to implement this bag of words concept. Associative arrays are a very powerful uh, data structure uh, that are common uh, across almost any programming language. Uh, as many of you know, a standard array has a numerical index, uh, and a number points to a position in the array that where there's a piece of data stored. The, in, a, in an associative array, the index does not matter. What truly matters is the association or reference between two pieces of data. So an example of this would be a phone book. Uh, that's, that is an associative array. A dictionary is also an associative array, and, and you'll see here very soon that VBA uses the word dictionary to actually uh, refer to the object uh, of an associative array. So in a dictionary or a, a phone book, what really matters most is the pairing of, of two pieces of data. So in a phone book, it's the name and the phone number. Dictionary, it would be the word and the definition or some other data associated with it. And actually, ordering doesn't matter. Um, it's the relationship that truly matters. The alphabetical order that's used in the dictionary and also used in a phone book is just simple, simply for the ease of, of human lookup. Uh, but it's the matching of those two pieces of data which really creates the power. So the associative arrays that you'll find in most programming languages go by the name of hash, dictionary, or collection. You'll hash tables um, are a very common term that are that's used to refer to associative arrays. And in VBA, we'll use the, the term a dictionary or dictionary objects. So this picture here hopefully helps to describe, you know, really the difference between an array and an associative array. If you look at the array on the left, what this is simply indicating is, is a list of five hockey teams from the Metropolitan Division. Um, and each one of those hockey teams uh, has an index position uh, within the array. Most arrays actually start with an index of zero. And the length of this array would actually be five. On the right, what you can see is a depiction of an associative array that's pairing the city of the team with the name of the team. So in that associative array, the, the ordering doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that matters is that New York is associated with Rangers, and Philadelphia is associated with Flyers, Pittsburgh is associated with Penguins, and so forth. So what's unique, well, what's special about a computer is the computer is able to actually um, find that lookup very quickly so that for the sake of programming, we can use this associative array construct to be um, efficient and really kind of um, almost uh, um, as, a, as a trick for programming and we're going to use this to for uh, the bag of words concept. So if we were going to create a bag of words from a sentence um, it would it would kind of work like this. So let's consider this somewhat awkward intentionally awkward sentence. The dog and the cat fought until the cat beat the dog soundly and then the dog walked away. So the first step is to split the sentence into an array. Uh, and we can use the split function in DBA to do that. The result of that would be an array in VBA that has 19 items. And you can see the, the ordering of those items. So then what you would need to do in order to create your bag of words is you would need to loop through that sentence. And for every word that you encounter, if it's, you, if it's the first time you see that word, that needs to be recorded and then the word needs to be assigned um, you know perhaps a column or a position and then you keep track of how many instances of the word have occurred so for example what we would see is we'd see that the word the has appeared five times and dog has appeared three times and so on and so forth so the table looks like an array but remember what matters here is that the word the is pointing to five and the word dog is pointing to three. Um, that's the association that counts. 
So if we need to find out the frequency that the has appeared within our document, it would be 5. So let's, let's take a look and see how we would, would implement this in VBA. So here we have our, our uh, VBA window open. Um, and on the left-hand side here, you can see that we have that sentence uh, wrapped into cell A2. So we're going to go ahead and start this off like we would any subroutine, and we declare a subroutine name. And then what we're going to do is declare a couple of dictionary objects. So D is going to be the dictionary of words. So that is the actual um, list of words or vocabulary, if you will, um, that will be used for, um, and created from uh, the, the sentence or the list of sentences. Uh, D underscore pause is going to be um, is going to be used to keep track of the column where we'll record the frequency at which we see the word. We'll use D count to keep track of how many words have been seen and this will also help us to figure out what the next column is for a new unique word that's seen. Temp array is going to be a dynamic length array uh, that will uh, when we chop our sentence, temp sentence is going to be the sentence that gets chopped. When we chop that sentence, it'll be stored in temp array. So you can see as we get started, one of the first things that happens is we go ahead and we assign the active cell, which is currently A2, uh, to t temp sentence. So this is now a string that contains whatever the value was in the active cell. We're going to go ahead and use I uh, to represent the row of the active cell. And then here's that split function that I referred to earlier. So we're going to take and we're going to split temp sentence using the delimiter of a space. So we'll just split on every space and store that in temp array. And then what we'll do is we'll just loop through temp array. So for uh, J equals the lower bound of temp array to the upper bound, of, uh, of temp array. The way that the logic works is that if the dictionary object D currently contains temp array, so this D exists, will determine whether or not that word, the jth word in temp array exists. If it does exist already, then what happens is we will go ahead and increment the total count as you can see, of, of, uh, of that word. And then we will also increment the fact that we have seen that word for the associated sentence. So this is where we'll actually put the value into the cell. If we haven't seen the word, that's where the else comes in. Then what we do is we go ahead and we increment D count, which represents that, hey, we've seen a new word, so we have to up, up our column position. Then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, designate the fact that we have seen this new word that's stored in temporary, the jth position of temporary, and we'll assign that a value of 1. So now whatever that word was points to 1, or just the value of 1. Then we'll go ahead and we'll record the, uh, the column where we're going to store information about whatever is in that uh, new, newly seen word. And then we uh, assign a value of 1 for the ith sentence in the uh, appropriate column for a count of one. So that just simply represents that we've seen one instance of this word here, which is the jth word in temporary, um, in the sentence in the ith row. And then lastly, uh, what we're going to do um, here is we're just going to put the word itself in the header of the column. So all this is doing is this is the first row of the column that's associated with the word that we're currently considering and we're going to store that word value in there. So let's let's just loop through and see how this works. Back to the top. 
So I hit my F8 key, starts off my script, declare some variables. You can see our locals window is starting to populate as it should. Store our um, temporary sentence. Going to go ahead and split it out, and you can see that temporary has been populated down here. All right, you notice it's got all the words as it should. Now we're going to start looping through those words. Okay, so obviously the first word doesn't exist because we haven't considered any words. So we increment our count. We assign the appropriate values. So you can see the first word was the. It's been seen one time in the sentence. And then we loop back to the next item. So we'll start moving through these kind of quickly. The next word is dog. Okay, now what will happen eventually here is we're going to see the again. So you can see we've seen the a few times. Okay, we should be on it again. We'll keep looping through. And that's it. So as you can see here, the has appeared five times in the sentence, dog three, and so on and so on and so forth. Now, if you, for your project, for deliverable 2A, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build a bag of words for, an for a big long list, a thousand sentences. So what that's going to require is that you take this logic here and you figure out a way that you can implement or insert that into a loop where that loop then will iterate down through a series of cells and then build the bag of words in a matrix form to the right of those uh, sentences. So that's it. I hope this was uh, somewhat informative and I uh, wish you guys the best of luck on your deliverable out here.